Hey everyone, this is Evelyn from Evelyn Chick Projects. I'm super excited to show you how to make a Dale DeGroff, aka King of Cocktail version of the Cosmopolitan Cocktail with Grey Goose Citron today. All you need is a little bit of Citron Vodka, Orange Curacao, a shaker bottle that kind of resembles a shaker tin, a tablespoon, some lime for lime juice, cranberry juice, and orange zest. So we're gonna measure out an ounce and a half of Grigou Citron, and that is three tablespoons, and you just pour it right into your mixing vessel. Half an ounce, which is one tablespoon of triple sec, followed by one ounce, which is two tablespoons of store-bought cranberry juice. So this cocktail is meant to be tart with a lot of different components of citrus coming up from the citron and the triple sec and the lime juice. So you only really need a little bit of lime juice, which is a quarter ounce. You measure half a tablespoon. Dump it right in your shaking vessel. Now you want to add enough ice to cover the liquid completely, plus a little more so your cocktail is nice and diluted. Put your lid back on. Just remember that the ice is hitting the top and the bottom of your shaking vessel and shake vigorously for 10 to 15 seconds. Now you want to strain it into your favorite cocktail glass but you don't want the ice chips to be floating around because that melts your cocktail even more. So use a cone strainer. If you don't have a cone strainer, a little tea strainer works too beautiful color. Last but not least, you want to zest a flame orange zest over the cocktail to make the citrus notes really pop. Throw your little orange peel in and there you go. A very nice Dale DeGrasse Cosmopolitan cocktail. I'm going to show you a way where you can make a super low waste cosmopolitan variation with just some sugar, leftover citrus peels, and frozen berries that you were going to throw in your shake. So we're going to start off with a really simple Cosmo mix. All you need is a mason jar with the lid, a little bit of sugar, I've measured out 5 tablespoons. And before you eat an orange or before you put a lemon in your water, save the peels because the oils from the peels are actually very aromatic and it offers a really nice citrus component to it. And then what you're gonna do is just toss the peels, the ends, leftover limes. Just toss it all in the sugar. And you wanna give it a nice shake. Patience is a virtue, so you're going to let this sit for a few hours. And what you're going to end up with is uh, little chunks of sugar that has been infused with the citrus oils. So with five tablespoons of sugar, you want to throw in two tablespoons of hot water. And it'll have that really nice sort of preserved citrus element to it. That will mimic some of the flavors from the citron vodka and the nice florality and a little bit of bitter orange from your triple sec. Now for the cranberry berry component of the drink. I've taken some frozen berries and left it out for about an hour so it melts a little bit. And all you have to do is use a spoon and squish it so the juices come out. You can even use the fruits and toss it in your shake later. So because the fruit juices are so intense, for the citrus sugar mixture that you've made earlier, you only need one tablespoon. And then you're going to put the lid back on, give it another shake. Now because it's super chunky, you want to strain it out. Once it's strained out, you'll end up with a super delicious citrus and berry cordial. Now it's time to build a variation of a Cosmo. Start off with your shaking vessel and then we're gonna add an ounce and a half, which is three tablespoons of Grey Goose Vodka. And then you're gonna add half a tablespoon of your berry citrus cordial. Now because you wanna make sure the cocktail is nice and tart, so you can add a little bit more citrus this time half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice and then we give it a good shake again. Put your lid back on. 
Give it a good 10 to 15 second shake. And then strain it into your favorite cocktail glass. The berries give it such a nice color. And then we're just gonna squeeze a little bit of orange oil on top to kind of bring out the really nice citrus notes that you've created for yourself and bring out the berries and the sort of peppery notes from the Great Goose Vodka. So just zest it right on top. And there you go, that's your Berry Cosmo.